Yeah, well, like a real sun, like an actual sun. This might be just a glitch sun. Yeah, I believe so. It might be like an optical illusion because of the space-time warping. This thing is f going so fast. I was under, I was like around 4,000 meters, and then it, it leaped back up to over 7,000 meters. My guess is because it started rendering the game, decided to accelerate it again. Yeah. You know, this, uh, there's a, actually a really comfortable cockpit to sit in if you'd like to, to go in to the I've, front there. I'm, I'm afraid to stand up. Okay. You know what the heck? Let's do it. Hey, hey, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. All right. Yeah, this seat won't break your neck. It says I can't. Ah, I'm out. You crossed over a. I see you. I see you. I'm still. <laughs> You're still in my gravity. Oh no! Oh, we are. I'm outside the ship. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> ah, we're gonna die. You survived, I think. I did. Here, I'll push you over to the other thing. Oh, oh, I think you just flew out of my... Yeah, I did. I just flew out. Look at these things. Look! They're, my goodness! They're following the path, and there's nothing we can do about it. Can you... Can oh, you, you, you got a core? Is that your core? That's my core. I just Are dropped it, it, but I, I wasn't able to get in it. My goodness. This is wild, and the fact that you survived outside the ship, you were under the influence of this ship's uh, protection somehow. Yeah. It's crazy. I, I, it's, it's weird. I'm in a core now. I was able to get in a core. Okay. I uh, just had a collision with the Betty, uh, so no real effect. Well, if you can slow it down enough to stop it, I can jump back in it. I don't think think I can do that, but we'll try. Do you have any push uh, modules on you? I don't. I, I'm actually gaining on the, the Betty. All you have to do is get, like, get in front of it and... Oh, I did. I think it just crashed through me, though. No, crashed I, I, into oh. me, baby! I can still see it. I just got to get in front of it and hit the shift. This All is right. why it would have Where been really... Betty? Next time we'll know. When we, we need to go pick up Jace Machine's garbage that's flying through space. We'll know to bring the the ship dockers. There's two other ships out here. One of them is a core, you say? Yeah. One's, uh, there should be two cores. I, I recognize one of them is my little uh, zipper car. Yeah, I'm trying to bump into it and slow it down. I tried that also. And you, I think you did, because I'm able to keep up with it now. Oh. Wonder I think, if you could. I think I just bumped it again. But it, it just as I catch up to it, we... Uh, this has a universal dock on it, right? That does not have any docks on it. The Betty has no docks. It has a, 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 a docker, but no dock. I can't catch up to these other ships. Ah, uh, yeah, this one's, it's flying faster than me now. All right, let me see if I can. Yeah, it's flying. I can't, I can't catch up to it. It's going faster than my max speed. Oh, 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 we're gonna have a collision. Oh, I think it just flew through me again. Good thing we don't have that collision turned on. Do you have universal docker on this one? Uh, no, this this ship is a weird one, but it does have a uh, a dock on the roof of it. You can you can if you have the ability to put down a dock, you can dock to my roof of my yellow ship. Your ship's called. Pff. <laughs> Quick! <laughs> ah, I'm in the, I'm in the wormhole again. <laughs> I'm heading your way. <laughs> I think. <laughs> I, it's, it's oh, so, you're banished. It's so messed up, I can't even... Uh, I can't even just put down one thing. Because when I try to put something down, it appears in a different location. <laughs> oh, this wormhole trail is going to get us... It's going to take drag us all the way out to the outside of the galaxy. And I see what? a bunch of debris up ahead. And then, then we're stuck on the outer arm. I can't, I can't put this thing down. <laughs> this wormhole. Can, you, can is... you try to stop, stop your momentum? That way it'll have to. I don't recognize this. What is I, this over here? I have no thrust. I got to put down engines and power. And... There's some sort of ship that I don't recognize at all floating around over here. Well, I want to see that. Yeah. Where are you at? 
Um, in front of you, maybe. Oh, I see. Is that that one over there we're looking at? What is this? It's like got blue. Thrasher? I don't even know. It's like stuck in the middle. Yeah. What's Thrasher? I don't know. I don't recognize this ship. I'm, I'm overly concerned. We're finding new technology here. This, uh... Oh! I know this ship. This ship has been missing for months. <laughs> it's stuck in a wormhole. <laughs> it, I don't know how it got there. This ship was at the... This ship was originally at the spawn uh, station. This is the ship that Nathan, Budkai, and I built together, in fact. Yeah. Oh. Wow, that's crazy. We found a space garbage can out here. All right, see if you can hold still and I'll come get you. Okay. You can dock directly to my roof. Um. Oh, I see it. There we cool. go. All right. I can't. Okay. All right. We're gonna. Have, we're just gonna have to plan another day if we're gonna come back and and clean up the galaxy. We're just gonna have to uh, plan a, another another day for that, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> uh, first of all, we have to find a way out of the. Uh... Well, that shouldn't be. Oh my goodness, that's not gonna be a problem. We can get out of this. I have a jump drive. <laughs> Three hundred and sixteen kilometers away. I'm charging up my jump drive in case you're wondering. Oh, okay. Yeah. Actually, I'll just manually start flying back that way too. Cut down on space and time. Because space and time is a jerk. And this is why I recommend that people dock it or lose it in my system. <laughs> <laughs> dock it or lose it. I can't believe <laughs> we found that other ship. The mystery it was it's a ghost ship, a true Where ghost ship. Yeah, we need to come back and explore that one. Yeah. So did you hear about poor guy and his plans of having casino have kind of been dashed recently? Are you talking about the crackdown from the law? Yeah, talking mm -hmm. about the crackdown from the law. He was uh, he was telling me about it. He was telling me how unfair it was and I, I was patting him on the back, metaphorically speaking. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But he says that he has some sort of plan. He he's figured out some sort of loophole. Oh. Okay. I don't know what it is, but he he's figured something out. So. Well, just... I I um I saw him heading out towards uh, the trade cartel's trade station the other day. Huh. So. Hmm. Guess he's uh looking to build something. I guess. I guess. Yeah, I mean, it, it's good. We, we need law and we need order. We do I, need law and order. I don't know if we need that many regulations. It seems kind of weird, to be honest. I mean, it is his plate, you know. Yeah. So. Well, it's plate on it the capital orders, planet. So. It is, it is. And that's not the type of, um, it's not the type of atmosphere we really need on the capital planet, I yeah, suppose. I, it's the element that comes with the gambling, I'm, I guess. You know? Yeah. Well, I know that, that, that we've had a lot more um, shady people um, hanging out in the diner recently. Like I've, We've had to kick a lot of uh, people out that that are just sort of loitering. They buy like a, a single like soda pop, mm -hmm. and then they hang out, and then all sorts of weird people come uh, throughout the day and sit down at the, the corner booth with them, and then they get up and leave. They never order anything either. Oh. So I, I think there's some sort of drug deal or something happening. And, um, you know, I got... I got these teenage girls who are working at the diner, I and mean, this is their first job. You know, they're good kids, they're good students, and mm -hmm. I, they don't need to be exposed to that. Yeah, it's a, it's a good point. It, it, it probably explains a lot of the debris that I've been finding in the maze as well. Debris in the maze? Yeah, it's a, you know, just empty packets with some kind of strange substance in it. And, um, yeah, it's I don't know. used condoms. Yeah, I was. Yeah. I wasn't really gonna go there because I don't want to admit that I had to clean that up. Oh, uh, you see, it's, gross, that's why you should get get one of the, someone else to clean it up for there you. There was a. There was. A, I actually found a vagrant in there, but he swears that he just got lost. So I don't. I that's <laughs> he probably got lost on purpose though. Yeah, you know, I can't really. I can't well, there's really. a roof over my head. I can't find my way out, and there's no food. 
No telling if I'm gonna live <laughs> or die. Sounds like a good time. It's a terrifying place. I went there with uh, with Robin Shield, and yeah. and and we. I have a suspicion we were only within the first third of the maze. Oh yeah, it's the the maze is ridiculous. Yes, it is. It is ridiculous. <laughs> but to be honest, it does have a way through. So yeah. Well, and the, here's the other thing: if you don't think you can make it through, don't go in. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You know. Enter at your own risk, kind of thing. I go in there every once, every once in a while and just loot the corpses before they despawn. But yeah. Well, that's the thing too. You don't want people waiting in there. You know, back to the talking about the problem. I mean, Sleazeland is sleazy, and and that's it was. You know, I don't think it was sleazy when we named it Sleazeland. It was just going to be well, Sleazeland. You know, beautiful, beautiful scenic oceanside city. Yeah. And 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 then guy was like, you know what? We need sleazy elements here in Sleazeland. We're like, what? Where did you get that idea from? That's yeah. Crazy. I mean, it doesn't even it doesn't connect. It doesn't jive. Yeah, he's going to give the, the word sleaze a bad name. I know. If, he, if it keeps us up, but but yeah, like, and I've heard that there's people like hiding out in the maze, waiting to mug people who go in there, and I'm like, what? I mean, I didn't see anything like that happen myself, but you know, Robin Shield has been running this weird sort of private freelance police mm -hmm. type of operation, like with Sam and Max, and <laughs> and uh, yeah, he says that he's been getting these weird reports. So I, I guess it doesn't come as a surprise that they'd shut down guys' ambitions. Yeah, and it, it, you know, at first, you know, I was being far away in the repair station. You know, yeah. I set up the, the fun house and I visit it when I can. But for the most part, I, you know, I got a, lot, I got a, a pretty decent uh, backlog of repairs. Yeah. And, and one of the things that I'm starting to see a lot of is uh, phaser damage. So. Huh. Yeah, it's. I don't really recall that many pirate attacks, but I mean, it seems like a lot of things just have bullet holes in them and. That's weird. Yeah, it's. Um, I, there hasn't been a single ninja uh, occurrence in, in, it seems like, months now, either. Well, did, didn't he take those guys out? I mean, I heard something about a bomb, but. It, it, yeah, well, there was that. There was the bomb that came up. I think that was really the start of this whole thing. There was a bomb that appeared in Club Denance. Mm hmm. And um, I think that might have been the last straw for Robin Shield. I mean, a bomb is no joke. No, no joke at all. Somebody pees in a drink, that's one thing, but you know, yeah. you set up a bomb. Well, you, it. yeah, you know, although you get, give, you can give someone, you can hurt one person with peeing a drink, maybe, but you can hurt lots of people with a bomb. Yeah, where I was sitting, I had a pretty good, I had a pretty good viewpoint, but, yeah, it was, uh, it was really weird because there was a couple of times where almost the entire capsule was transparent. Wow. It's like parts of it I could still see. And you lived. I did. I, I was pretty excited about that. I, I was excited about it too, buddy. I mean, you, you, you said you said that there's like a 1 in 50 shot of me dying, but... No, no, I said there was a 50% chance that you'd die. Um... Did I did I say one in fifty? No, originally when I when I invited you over the first that, time. Isn't, isn't that what that means when you say 50, 50? No, that's like a one in two. It's what? One in two. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you made it. Though. Why'd You're you right. let me do that? Well, because it's a hundred percent chance of survival. Now we know that now. That's a good point. See, it was it was a one in two chance, and now it's a, a one in one chance. I mean, there's nothing dangerous about it at all. Okay, but see, I, I thought 50-50 meant, you know, a 1 in 50 chance that you would die and then a 1 in 50 chance that you would live. And, I, or like a 49 out of, I'm not good with numbers. I'm not either. I just, you know, I told you I did numbers and math. Uh, I kind of do stuff the Thomas Edison way, which yeah. is sort of like do something and then see if it works. And then, and then like do something different and then see if that works. <laughs> Good old Thomas Edison. He's and that's why he's an American hero to this day. <laughs> he's a smart American hero. He was smart. I'm not going to argue with that. He and I share the same birthday, actually. Yeah, it's really, that's awesome. Yeah. So, that's right. We just had, we just celebrated your birthday. That's right. That's right. I turned uh, 21. Sure <laughs> Again. <laughs> Again. Again. <laughs> For the 15th time. I'm now officially younger than my oldest child. <laughs> And that's the way Benjamin Button rolls. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I'm kind of curious, though. I mean, 
I built that cloning thing, and it it didn't do anything. Mm-hmm. You, you gotta you gotta go to my repair facility and check it out. It's pretty it's pretty all right. Okay. It's got buttons and everything. It's got buttons and everything. It's fun to oh. push them. It's great. It's great. Have you seen the <clears throat> Have you seen the panther up close yet? The panther? I don't believe so. It's um. It's definitely. It's definitely panther like. Hmm. It's definitely panther like. Definitely. 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 Yeah. Definitely panther like. Most assuredly. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Well, gotta, one could gotta watch Wapner for. Gotta watch Wapner. 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 Gotta go to Kmart. Two hundred fifty-seven glass blocks. Two hundred fifty-seven. Two hundred fifty-seven. <laughs> and I don't have too much problem with uh, crime out here at the repair shop. So. Well, that's good. Well, I do have eight ma- massive turrets. So. You don't tolerate much out here. No, I don't. Tom Fullery is not allowed. Hi, Jinx. Barely. What happened to those uh, those guys you hired? Um. I don't know. Every once yeah. in a while, like if I hold down control, I'll see entity not loaded. Yeah. But they just I, that they, happens to me also, including single player. I don't think that has anything to do with your guys. I don't think that mechanic is 100% yet. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's an inch. I found one of them in space. Uh-huh. <laughs> and I I tried to get him to come into the ship and he kept flying out of the ship. And this was actually back when you and I were aligned in the same faction. So. Uh, I might still be in your faction. Cool. All right. Cool. Hey. All right. All right. I guess I better take myself out. Oh, you'll gravity now. Yeah, you just fall into space, and then you'll have to fly back up. But cool. yeah, the- you're going to be falling into, fa- into space now. Uh, over here, in my, uh, around my undefinator, is uh, <laughs> just in case, is where I built my uh, my, oh, clo- my clone thing. Let's check it out here. It's um, it's quasi experimental. I say it's pretty experimental. Quasi. Um, quasi. What I did is uh, because the astro the astrotech beams rebuild and they repair, correct? Yeah, yeah. And the undefinator allows you to respawn so what i assumed was if i took if i stayed within the range of the undefinator and was hit by diametrically opposed astrotech beams that i uh-huh. could that i could uh, you know create a clone and as yeah. you can see when i hit this button you know i get hit but, maybe you need one in the ceiling and so i was thinking about that as well but it doesn't seem to be a lack of beam because it'll, it'll continue to fire until I hit this button again. Yeah. Uh, but I don't want to interfere with it because that's the last thing we need is a clone with your DNA and my DNA running around. Yeah, that would be weird. I think we would have to put it down. Garth Machine or JSRS. <laughs> <laughs> I've been chewing on the undefinator. <laughs> <laughs> you know, there's... There's like the the Star Trek episodes, you know, where they they find the evil versions of, of themselves. But what if what if they went to a dimension where Kirk and Spock were blended together, and and Scotty and uh, uh, oh, the it's... Russian guy, for, <laughs> yeah. you know? Oh, um, what's his name? I can't remember his name. Chekhov. Chekhov. Yeah. Do you think it was a tongue-in-cheek thing, like check off? I hope not. We need a Russian guy. Check off. Check off. <laughs> yeah, but that's. I uh, started watching Enterprise recently. What do you think of that? I like it actually. It's it's I'm, I like it because the technology is older and junkier and less reliable, which is something I always liked about the Star Wars universe. Mm-hmm. Because there's well, tr- in the old you know the old Star Wars movies that we grew up with, the Millennium Falcon was breaking down at least three times per movie. Yeah, and I like the fact that the new Enterprise is a smaller ship. It's it looks similar. It looks you know it's got more uh, gr- what are they called gribbles, gribbles, yeah. whatever. I don't know. It's a terminology I use. A lot of crap on the hull. Yeah, and um, it's less elegant. And I like the fact that stuff doesn't work on You're it. You're talking about the one with Scott Bakula on it, right? Yes. Yeah, I, I watched that for a little bit. Not um, Dracula, Scott Bakula. Yes, not not blah blah blah. All right. Blah. Yeah, let's walk up here while, while we talk. Okay, we'll do a walk and talk. A walk We're, and talk, because I want to show you the panther. Ah, uh, panther. 
Ooh, I like it. I like that shape. I like the shapes. And I'm going to create a little faceplate for each one of these little winglet things that rotates. Like you fired a missile off, which will activate the logic sequence, which rotates the barrel one. Oh, neat. <clears throat> but it'll only be the faceplate of the little barrel things. Still, that's cool. <clears throat> yeah, I like it. It's coming together pretty good. And when, when you get over here up to the top, you'll kind of see why it, it's been dubbed the Panther. Where are you? In the I front. Guess. Well, in the front. Let me turn my thing on here. There we are. Yeah. Goodness, the admin messages that are popping up. Why? Uh, I didn't catch it. It just sort of, but the whole side of the screen was flickering, saying something was happening. Something's happening. Oh, I see why it looks like a panther. That's awesome. That was accidental. Yeah. That's I've accentuated crazy. it since then, but... That's great. Oh, I love it. The forced perspective. That is awesome. Yeah, it, uh, it, it's it's coming along nicely. I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy with it overall. Yeah. Oh, you should be. It looks nice. It looks nice, damn right. it. And then there's the cargo doors in the back for opening junk. If you come over to this side, I don't have one done on the... Uh, My on uh, right or left? Uh, ship left, so you're right if you're facing the ship. Yeah. What is that, uh, port? Uh, that would be starboard. Port is left. The ship's left. Yeah, ship's left would be port. Yeah, port. Yeah, so, okay. Are you over there? I am. Ooh. Fancy. That's pretty nifty. Rails are so much fun in this game. Aren't they? change up so much of what you can do yeah well, the right side isn't done yet so. yeah but the closing mechanism is, is kind of cool too so like your color scheme in here yeah I, I, I enjoy the color scheme I it kind of come together by accident I was doing the template with the purple being actual mm -hmm. rooms uh, yellow being uh, doorways and then green being hallways and I, I like the way it looked so much I just kept it nice yeah, I get it. Like when you're when you're laying your ship out. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, there's not a lot of interior done yet, so this will be my little chow hall area and kitchenette. Mm. Mess. The, the mess. mess. The mess. And then of course, that's the front, which doesn't have hardly anything. Doesn't even have any lights in it, so you can't okay. see. Okay. <coughs> where's this, where's the jack set? This is <laughs> I the gotta pee. <laughs> oh, down here. Uh, up here. There's a, never, there's... never drink that much coffee and then go into ooh interstellar space. They'll, uh, they'll be they'll be drains and stuff on the floor for you to do your business. Good, very good. That's awesome. Right now, just pee in the floor. <laughs> I will. I was planning on it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> and that's just uh, it, the crew bunk. Yeah. There's oh, cool. uh, five of these on each side, or six of these on each side. And then there's the captain quarters up front. Oh, nice. Which it has a random That's power block yeah. for some reason. That's where you put your poop. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> Apparently. There we go. Well, I'll fix that. Nifty Nito floating around in the dark in the front here. Yeah, there's a, there's a lot of room in here for activities. Yeah. trying to think which ship what which of my ships do I need to take back with me that's kind of I think guess I'll take the ghost did I already take the ghost I might have already took the ghost I don't know I guess I'll take the Millennium Falcon <laughs> thinking out loud cool you could take any of them really I could well I think I already took the ghost out there it's just at my other station I have two stations um, the first station I set up and then I was like, well, let's try to do, to do a black hole after this. And so I had a lot of money at the time. Yeah. Turns out I had way more money than I expected to have. So it was a good thing. Yeah, and uh, I got a question for you. I mean, you're an admin on the server, so maybe you can answer this question. Possibly. Um, how long is it 
from abandonment to uh, forfeit of ownership. Um, like if somebody, somebody like these two ships right here. This is Robin Shield's ships. Yeah. If he leaves these here for thirty days, I don't think they like. There's no sort of in-game setting for that. And as far as rules for it, admin rules, like we don't have any policy. Can I just take it then? Uh, with this is your station. It's technique. I mean, because because these are repair <laughs> stations. I mean, I I could finish them and then charge him. Yeah. Yeah. That would be a thing. He ha he has he has had this ship here for quite some time. Yes. What other vehicle is it? The one that's directly below me. Um. Where are your feet? Blow me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, the one right below you is like the very first one he built. I remember that now. I'm like, this mm. does look familiar. And then the other one is like uh, the the tiny salvager. I think what's the name of it? Small miner. There you go. That's the name of that ship. The other small one. Small miner. Huh? That's the small miner. My Do goodness. not want to see the big miner. <laughs> Is this uh, one of those shuttles that fits into your garage? Yes, yes it is. Oh, fantastic. Why, yes it is. I was going to bring this one out to your space station, but it doesn't have a universal dock on it. Mm. So there was that, obviously. <laughs> There's that, you know, you have this. Yeah, the uh, the planet doesn't work very well for me anymore. It's getting awfully laggy. Yeah, it's pretty much everybody. Yeah, and I think that's just the bad result of the update with the rails because you have infinitely more crap the game has to keep track of now. Very, very true. Uh, very, Do you have uh, guest parking? True. Um, I may have guest parking. <laughs> trying to think. Um, someone returned one of my ships, I've just realized. A ship that vanished is, is back. Maybe that's weird, man. That's just so weird. You don't appear to have guest parking. I don't I, uh, see. Ah, I see one. What is going on with you? Okay. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Whee! Now getting back into that's going to be a plan, uh, a pleasure. So, <laughs> yeah. Well, do you have a roof hatch? No, I did dig in. It's fine. It's all good. I'll just jump into the bank. It's it's not like you just have a hole in the roof like the other thing. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's super convenient. <laughs> yeah, and no. you get a great breeze. Yeah, I'll just sit here, and uh, somebody will eventually come along. And uh, oh man, I just I got a great view of your uh, space station. You did? Yeah, yeah, right now I'm looking, looking across my plate, and your space station's traveling towards the horizon slowly. That's cool. Oh wow. That's cool. Hey, the sky is blue again. Yeah, it was green there for a while, right? A gray. Gray. Was it green for you? It was white for a while. Yeah, it was it was like gray white. It reminded me of Pennsylvania. <laughs> That's crazy. Not like this Florida Florida skies that we have down here that are so blue. They're so blue and so big cuz there's nothing around. I left a lot of crap here. If I expect to do anything good, I guess I probably need to unload the stuff. I like your doors. Thank you. Some flip down, some slide. Keeps yeah, you, keeps you guessing. Fun. This button here will will manually open it and shut it, and that they're only designed to open and shut upon like the exiting and entering of it. So once you're in here, it won't trigger. Have you seen my uh, elevator that no. I have? I have a little wireless button elevator. It may or may not work. <laughs> I haven't Show. tested since the most recent update. Um, I was thinking about putting some sort of silo in here with yeah. the roof that would open up. And uh, here we go. We can go in here. You can do the honors of the, pressing the button, and hope, hopefully it'll work. This one? Yeah, in here. Oh, it doesn't work anymore. Fantastic. All right. Well, that's too bad. <laughs> I bet the manual portion still works. I can do that still. Yeah? No? No? Man. I don't know. The update broke <laughs> broke like everything. I guess I have to rewire everything. That's kind of crazy. That's crazy. Yeah, nothing nothing is working. Well, this is uh oh there you go. You get the actual real button. 
this is what it would normally do. It would elevate some sort of craft up into the ceiling, and preferably the ceiling would open up somehow. Gives it a science fiction feel, you know. I like the sciences. The earth and, earth and life sciences in particular. Open. Yeah, this door almost killed me. <laughs> yeah, this door does that. I didn't know. I didn't gotta, know. Just gotta walk out quickly. <laughs> and then over here uh, is my little... Um, my elevator thing that used to take me down to where my, uh, oh, I think I'm in an awkward position here. I would say you're oh. in an awkward position. Oh. <laughs> it looked like you were cringing in the corner. My goodness. <laughs> oh, what is happening here? I think it's when a, when the slope is adjacent to a, uh, Man. a gravity block. Or maybe it's just you, because you just randomly turn in sideways now. Oh, now I'm... <laughs> I'm hiding in the corner again. Yeah, me too. Oh, uh, hey, you got yeah. a partner in crime now. Oh my goodness, that's odd. That was really odd. It was. That's oh, talent, my garden's yeah. going well over here. I, I was looking at that. Are those legal? Ah, uh, they're legal in this uh, galaxy. This is a glow trap right here. Mm-hmm. I don't recommend really like licking any of these. They're used for medicinal purposes and various things. This is the uh, the yol or the y hole. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is a some sort of uh, fan plant. That's clear because it looks like a fan plant. Okay. Yeah, that would that would uh, make yeah. sense to me. This is the stuff that's questionable though over here. This is uh, this is a purple weed. And, oh, uh, and I hear the purple's the best stuff. That's what I hear too. I just don't know about this stuff. So we're gonna. I'm gonna give it to. Uh, basically, I'm selling uh, a lot of my uh, my plants here to Evil Giraffe for selling in her shop. Mm -hmm. I don't know where she gets the others, but these uh, these varieties that she carries over at her store are from my garden. So that's cute. So man, I'm always seeing stuff flying by in the sky. Yeah, it's because there's no telling how many ships just. Everywhere, randomly floating somewhere. Look, let's look at the, the radar. <laughs> Tear it on every. Yeah, look at the radar. There's just oh. so much stuff around here. All right, select turrets as well, and docked. Oh my goodness. And it's like forever. Yeah, I have everything selected, and it's it's ridiculous. Here's a, here's one called left shut off. <laughs> That's great. I'm surprised I'm getting as like the 19, the, the 15 to 20 frames now that I'm getting. Yeah, I'm pretty much getting 28 to 30 frames per second. So, not bad. Uh, this is pretty par for my system. Yeah. So I got a, an older motherboard in here and just a dual core processor. Ah, uh, yeah. It that'll, it does it, do it. It'll do it. It works. It just doesn't work real well. Well, I already informed the old lady. I'm going to clear a couple of debts and then uh, Pop is going on uh, the internet to buy a new computer. Right on. Right on. Yeah, um, Terry's completely down with uh, with us getting a new computer at some point. So, hopefully we can take care of that in the future. In the future! Future! Alright, brother. Well, I'm going to let you go. It was a lot of fun. Thank you for coming by and uh, helping me test out the uh, the wonderful world of uh, Star Made Space Sciences. Mm hmm. And I'm glad you didn't die. I'm also uh, glad now that I know that 50 50 means. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Well, you know, <clears throat> yeah, it's 100% now. So. Yep, yeah, well, there you go. Science. Because <laughs> science. I have enjoyed my time with you, but I think it's time for me to move on. It is time to move on. All right, man. Well, I will talk to you later. All right. See ya. Later.